morning from New York City. I'm standing outside St. Sava's Serbian Orthodox Cathedral that was destroyed in a fire two years ago on Orthodox Easter Sunday. I recall sharing this information with you on this site and just so happened I have been passing by it since last night and just this morning noticed the sign. I didn't recognize it as being an Orthodox Church. So uh, when uh, the light of day came and uh, I happened to see that it was an Orthodox Cathedral and it indeed is the one that was destroyed in a terrible fire two years ago. Of interest, this, uh, this cathedral uh, originally was built as a Episcopalian church and Edith Wharton was married inside these walls. Edith Wharton is one of my most favorite authors. She wrote The Age of Innocence and The Buccaneers. The Buccaneers is my favorite. And apparently they also have a monument or a bronze bust of Nicholas Tesla um, inside as well. And miraculously that survived uh, this tragic fire. I was speaking to the concierge uh, who, um, who is in the hotel across the street from here and he uh, forwarded me video of the, the day the fire took place. I guess he was working and he came out and videoed it. He said it was terrible. I want to thank him for forwarding that uh, video to me. Needless to say, um, this church is in desperate need of donations. I'm going to attach the link, the official link, through the church uh, to rebuild. Again, it's um, St. Sava's Serbian Orthodox Cathedral in New York City. It's um, on the historic register, and I, you know, anyone who um, who calls their home their second or their church their second home would understand the devastation of its parishioners in losing their uh, place of worship. I could not imagine anything happening to mine. I'm going to go across the street. Um, there's a lot of scaffolding. I don't think I can get any better pictures that maybe give you an idea. You know, like I said, I was walking by and I was struck by the Gothic, the Gothic architecture. It certainly doesn't look like an Orthodox cathedral, but um, you can see it there. And then there is the address. It's absolutely beautiful and uh, it needs some help. So I'm hoping uh, you find it in your heart to perhaps give some money so uh, this church can be rebuilt and perhaps in uh, a few years the faithful can return and, and celebrate liturgy here. Thank you. Have a great day.